Makamagab, I got me a leaked version of 10,000 volts from Ace Frehley. I listened to it three times. And I'm going to give you my impression of the album after just hearing it for three times. May grow on me later. I don't know. But we'll see. This is what I think of the album. All right, we start off with 10,000 volts. And the first time I heard this song, I dug it. I saw the video. That ah, was good, man. I was like, oh, my God. What? This guy hasn't been using this stuff with Trickster? He's giving it to Ace? Good. I'm glad that he's, you know, just giving Ace songs that he wouldn't use in Trickster. Awesome. Uh, I think it's classic Ace, man. Classic Ace uh, guitar solo. I give it a total thumbs up. All right, next. Walking on the Moon. You know, the first time I heard this song, I hated it. Uh, hearing it now, I still hate it. Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons are not embarrassed by this. I'm embarrassed by this. This is terrible crap. Don't like it at all. And the video pff, is just as stupid. Uh, not worse. Just as stupid, if you ask me. All right, the next one is called Cosmic Heart. Uh, musically, it's okay. Uh, vocals are lazier than usual. Uh, and that little mellow, there's this little mellow guitar solo before Ace does his guitar solo that it doesn't sound like Ace to me. And, but you know, when it gets, you know, the heavy part, you could tell that's Ace. Uh, this song, I wouldn't say it's horrible, but it's far from great. All right, next one is called uh, Cherry Medicine. This is the worst so far. Har it sounds like a, like a Miley Cyrus song. Like trying to be like up to date, but with AZ, uh, Ace's lazy vocals. Uh, this sucks so hard. I'm serious. I'm embarrassed for both Gene and Paul. All right, next. Um, Back in My Arms Again. All right, this one is an old song that was demoed. So they brought it back instead of audio video. That's a great demo from back in the day. And there's a few other ones that are much better than this song. This song sucks. Screw this song. All right, next. Fighting for Life. What the hell? This rules. His vocals are not lazy as usual. This is one of the greatest Ace Frehley songs. He's, I'm telling you, I mean, on first listen, I'm thinking, wow, this is the best thing I've uh, from Ace Frehley since Lost in Limbo off of Trouble Walking. I think this is better than anything he's released after Lost in Limbo. But I only heard it three times. That might change later because I do love the song Space Invader and uh, Walking on Mars. I mean, there's a lot of great Ace songs after this. But this song right here, in the middle of this album, it's like, yo, here's something kick-ass. That, you know, not even 10,000 volts kick my ass like this song. This song's amazing. This should have been the damn single, man. I'm telling you, this would have turned some heads, man. Uh, this is not your usual, you know, lazy singing ace. It kicks ass. 15,000 thumbs up for Fighting for Life. All right, the next one, Blinded. Uh, he says we're blinded by signs in the song. It's not bad. It may grow on me later, but at the moment, I like this tune. It's not bad. All right, next, Constantly Cute. All right, the real lazy voice is back. And uh, this song is as stupid as the title. Constantly Cute. Horrible. Yeah, I saw an Iron Ace interview where he said that, you know, his girlfriend or fiance said that to him over the phone, constantly cute. And he was like, hey, Steve, write this down. Constantly cute. Let's write a song about it. A true story. That's how this stupid song came to be. Horrible. All right, the next one. Life of a Stranger. Now, this is a cover song. And something tells me where I'm hoping uh, that the original version is a better song because this sounds like a song that could be much better done by somebody else, not Ace. 
It does sound like a good song, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it doesn't, you know, Ace doesn't deliver it well. So I'd love to hear the original. All right, next. Up in the Sky. Uh, this one's not bad. It's not great either. It's okay. I've heard much worse. Like constantly cute and walking on the moon. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's at least above that. All right, the last song, Stratosphere. I will say this is the second best song on the album. Uh, it's an instrumental. It ends with an instrumental. It's not bad. I like the guitar playing. I question if the Ace is doing all the solos on the song. I'm not sure. I do hear him on the song. But then there's some parts it's like, well, it sounds like Ace, but a little too perfect. Well, you know, it's and then when he when you can tell it's Ace, it's not so perfect. It's got that loose vibe. So there's those certain parts where it's just a little too perfect makes me question if that's Ace. And it's not, it doesn't matter to me. It's a cool song. I dig it. So that is my early uh, review of the new Ace Fairly album, 10,000 Volts. It is weak. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not that great. I mean, uh, other than that song, Fighting for Life and the instrumental, and I'd say the title track, it's three good songs out of all of this. I can't, uh, you know, I mean, there's a couple okay songs. I just can't see. This ain't nowhere near as good as uh, Fraley's Comet or um, Trouble Walking. And yeah, I think Space Invader and Spaceman had more songs I enjoyed than this album, so... Yeah, the first three listens, so one of it I loved, the other one was pretty cool, and then the other, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying, I went through all the songs, so that is my review, it's coming out on Friday, and that's when it'll be up on YouTube, so you all make up your mind, and listen to it, and hopefully you'll get that charge I got from Fighting for Life, because that song just rules, man. Anyway, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, ring the little notification bell. And um, stay frosty. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. And listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob.